Okay, this is the last stop on my New Haven tour. It's been really about pizza. I actually found a really good Ethiopian place here that is not very full, and I don't know why, because that place is delicious. But anyway, I'm gonna stop eating here and go home. I'm going to end with Louis's lunch. Now, Louis's lunch is said to be the home of the hamburger sandwich. There seems to be, of course, with these sorts of things, a lot of other people that are saying the same thing. Uh, it's supposed to have happened about 1900. There seems to be hamburger sandwiches that are advertised before that in 1894 in Texas and so on and so forth. But you got a few places, you know, Hamburger New York is saying this. Anyway, no, no one's really sure. This is definitely one of the first though. And it's credited uh, by a lot of people with being the first. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna get our burger on. Our like primitive, primitive first burger on. I heard, I heard, um... yeah. The burger, but first, Cameron Fox Park Park is just the the so like yeah, this is a white beer. GP yeah. Rowan. I mean, when you have, you when you have all those like and stuff. apple pie, okay. on here. and he I talked gotta, about. I gotta do some apple pie too. So we'll do that after the burger. 20, right. 20 k in the morning, twenty. All right, this is my first time at you Fox on Park. This is the white version. This stuff is really, really good. Yeah, there, was a tree, there was a tree missing. Yeah, I need to stop looking at myself when I do these it videos. That's why I'm not making eye contact with you. But this stuff right here, this is money. If you can get this on Amazon, cream soda, white birch, like, this is the stuff. All right, here is this thing. That. Now they say this is medium rare. This is cooked medium rare. That is as rare as a cow that you killed five minutes ago. <laughs> There's no medium rare about that. Alright, let's see how this tastes. There's exceedingly just white bread. There's nothing to that. Just is tradition. Tomato is hard. Tomato is what it is. This is very plain. This is very straightforward. Yeah, we do have cheese on it. That can't taste at all. Look at the cheese on its own. Let's see how that is. That's what that looks like. What that is. They didn't make bread. It's kind of more interesting than I would think, to be honest, that beef. But what it is, is it has the onion cooked into it, and that's making it taste better. Okay. The beef itself is too rare for me. I like medium on a burger, medium rare sometimes. Once you get to medium, it's just, there's no heat down there and it loses all flavor. Because you can tartare beef, but you don't mince beef and then, and then eat it as a tartare, so, okay. And it's got the it's got the tradition, it's got the history, it's got the whole thing. But when when push comes to shove, I want to make sure it has it too, man. In the first, if I'm if I'm going to be totally frank about it and score it along with other like modern burgers, it's going to be like a like a five five for me, right? Now here's the deal. This might very well be the first burger sandwich, right? And you're just trying to, you're trying to like figure this out. They've kept the uh, they kept the recipe, and good for them. It's a piece of history. But you know, food evolves and it gets better. And this has not evolved. And for me, it's like a five five. It's like kind of a little bit better than a math. Okay, I'm glad we've we've gone beyond this. But yeah, it's just a little bit better than a math for me. All right, I am going to try this apple pie here in a second. So try the apple pie, super plain Jane, not enough sugar, not enough cinnamon. Um, would be better if it had like a whole bunch of ice cream on it, but it itself, super plain Jane, uh, crust is just, you know, it's a mat, it's a plain. Okay, so that's what we got. This stuff though, white verge, okay. Drink this stuff as much as you possibly can.